Hey guys, Rusty Cooley here today with Dean Guitars, and we're going to be looking at the EX Ultra 7 FM TBK electric acoustic 7 string guitar. The very first time I ever signed with Dean Guitars at NAMM, um, it, was, it was really it was a very surreal situation because it was Rudolf Schenker from the Scorpions, Leslie West from Mountain, um, Rick Emmett from Triumph, Carrie Livergreen from uh, Kansas, Michelangelo Badio. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody, but it's like these are all rock guitar legends. And here I am, <laughs> little fucking Rusty Cooley from, you know, Texas. And... Uh, it's just mind blowing to be, you know, in that same league, that same level, you know. And uh, but it took somebody like Elliot Rubinson, the owner of Dean Guitars, to believe in me, you know. And the way I initially got signed to Dean Guitars was because of a good friend of mine, Mark Tremonti, who is formerly with Creed, and he's got a new band called Alter Bridge. Me and Mark are good friends. I teach Mark. And every time Mark comes through town, we spend like all day playing guitar. He'll come in town. He's like, "All right, Rusty, I'm here. Come down." And we just jam all day, and he plays, and then we get off stage. He gets off stage, and we jam all night. And one night, one time, Mark was at a Dean factory with a friend of his that, that's a Dean artist, a guy named Bill Peck. And Elliot approached Mark and said, "Hey, look, we're trying to corner the shred market. Do you know anybody?" And Mark said, "Yeah, bro. You need to call my good friend Rusty Cooley." <laughs> So some of the things that I like most about this guitar is it's, it's very much like the electric guitars. It's got a very thin neck, okay? And, and the thin neck is very important because most acoustic guitars come with a, a very thick neck. It's, it's, it's almost like you take a baseball bat and cut it in half. And that's like, that's like so hard to play. So this has got a streamlined neck. It's like an electric guitar and it's got really tall frets, which tall frets are super important when you're playing this kind of style of guitar. And, um, it's, it's got it, the, the full access neck joint. Um, I would prefer to have 24 frets so when they do make the official Rusty Cooley uh, RC7 acoustic model, we'll have 24 frets and a little bit bigger of a cutaway, but I mean, it's, it's I don't know. I showed it to Nam and it was there and I was like, dude, why didn't you guys tell me about this? Anyway, w once I got home and Nam was over, they shipped me this and this is the very first seven string uh, acoustic that um, they made. And uh, it's mine now because, you know, uh, that's the way it should be. So on top of this, the fact that this being an amazing guitar, one of the most important questions is how would you record this guitar in the studio? Well, I'm just a guitar player and I don't know too much about all that stuff. So I would ask my good friend Dean DeChoso to tell me what is the best way to record this instrument? So Dean, take I, it away. I honestly think we should record this uh, as simply as we can. Let's show off its most natural qualities. You know, let's not do a million microphones. Let's prove that Dean made a good instrument. What do you say? I think that's the best way to go. One microphone. That's right. That's what I say. That's all it takes. So what kind of mic we got rocking here tonight? This is a Rode NTK, very simple Australian tube microphone. <laughs> Enough said. There you go. Dean Guitars. Amen, brother. <laughs>